Hey guys, Dustin here, and if you've been watching, you know I've, I've grown to love that Desert Eagle. At first I was, oh man, it's so impractical, but then I was, oh man, this is a lot of fun at the range. The shooting it fast is actually kind of fun as well, but as you can imagine, a Magnum, especially a 50 AE, uh, that's what I've been running the whole time, uh, it can have a bit of a punch to it. And so that punch is, well, it, it, it's controllable if you do your part, but as you can tell, you know, the Newton's Law there applies to the, hey, there was a bug, I never noticed that before. <laughs> okay, anyway. Recently, I was able to get my hands on the muzzle brake version. And so the muzzle brake version, of course, will help you port those gases and control some recoil in case you have a limp wrist like this. That's why you only give newbies one round when they fire that thing. Anyway, so you can see, we put this on the high-speed camera. And we have the same line of sight. I'm aiming at the same target for these three-round bursts. So with the non-comped or non-muzzle brake version on the left, you can see we have a 30 to 30, uh, 28 maybe, a degree muzzle flip. And then on the muzzle brake version, we're only riding at 20 degrees. Now the interesting thing is these follow-up shots always uh, don't buck as much because I guess your hands figure out, okay, that's what it does. I need to hold on a little tighter. And so we see little better results as we move forward. So faster shooting with the compensated version because it followed up better. And we're showing an 18 degree flip at the muzzle. And then the non-comped version rides all the way up to 26. So you're looking at about 8 degrees fl uh, of flip eliminated with that muzzle brake. Now watch when that muzzle brake goes off, though. You're also going to blast gases all over that target, uh, yeah, as, as it's supposed to do. So we have an 18-degree muzzle flip here. And you can also notice that the gun itself sits lower. Because with the non-comped version, you're flipping the entire thing up in the air as you go for that 28-degree flip right then. And so it, it does what it's supposed to do, and it's neat to have the scientific proof right here in front of us of the high-speed camera. And so if you want to control the recoil a little more, yeah, get the muzzle brake version. But here's the deal. You're going to eliminate that majestic ring of fire that you get on low light because you still have that unburnt powder burning off in the air. For all my loads I use H1110 powder and yes it's just a beautiful uh, stream of light that flies out of it and you will not get that with a muzzle brake version because it disrupts the gases leaving the barrel. And so even though this is 100% um, just speed right there, okay not the replay, but uh, that's me shooting it that fast on a non-comp version. So now the next thing is how fast can I shoot the one with the muzzle brake? Well, thanks for watching again today. Guys, if y'all have anything you want to see on high speed, leave a comment. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.